Hello, my name's Paul Bates. I'm one of the directors of a company called Clean Kill Environmental Services Limited. We're a pest control company. Today, we're gonna to try and help you with some of your pest problems around the house. Okay, one of the, the first pests that comes to mind when we're talking about pest control is often mice. And one of the first questions or phrases that we're often told is, I've seen one mouse. Very, very rarely is there just one mouse. A mouse will give birth to up to 16 young and in a year you've got a potential of thousands of them. One of the first places to look if you think you've seen a mouse, go underneath your stair cupboard. It's one of the quiet places that people very, very rarely go to. Underneath kitchen kickboards, again, the places that are very, very quiet but lots of little bits of food get kicked under. When you're there, you might see what looks like little grains of rice but they're black. That would be the mouse droppings. Don't be over afraid if there's loads of them because one mouse does up to 80 droppings a day. So, how do you get rid of them? Well, the first thing to do, look around the outside of the house. There may be a damaged air brick that I will either need replacing or you'll need to put some mesh venting over it. If there's a gap underneath the doors, put some bristle strip draft excluder there. All these things will stop the mice getting in. Not completely because modern houses are built with breeze blocks, they're built with stud partition walls and mice can get to these areas quite easily even from neighbouring properties. If the problem's still going on you can resort to old-fashioned mouse traps. Now an old-fashioned mouse trap baited with either a Kit Kat or some peanut butter, that would be lovely. Put it sideways onto the wall because the mice are short-sighted and when they run straight across it then it'll just take them out one at a time. But as I said before, there's often more than one mouse, so actually poisons are the way to go. If the problem persists and you continue to see mice running around after you've tried poisoning them, then that's the time to call in a professional company, preferably one that belongs to one of the trade associations like the British Pest Control Association, the National Pest Technicians Association, a company like Clean Kill Pest Control.